Israel's fate looks grim in the face of war. It's a well-known fact that during warfare, nations pour enormous funds into military logistics. Often, a country's economy can crumble under the strain of prioritizing warfare over domestic needs. Israel's situation is further exacerbated by Yemen blocking access for cargo ships that deliver basic necessities to Israel. Such a blockade can gradually lead to an economic disaster, potentially spiraling into widespread famine. This scenario is reminiscent of Ukraine's plight. However, the difference lies in Ukraine's dependency on Russia for essential grain supplies, while Israel is cornered by a nation controlling a critical supply route. If this blockade persists, Israel might be forced to wave the white flag of surrender. Yet it's hard to imagine Israel capitulating easily. They may resort to military measures, but Yemen, backed by the Houthi, won't stand idly by. Saudi Arabia invaded. As a non-state armed group, the Houthi focus their strength on missiles, particularly ballistic missiles. These weapons are a crucial part of the Houthi's missile capability and are among the most effective on the battlefield, delivering heavy and lethal blows to the enemy. One such missile in their arsenal is the medium-range Tufan. Designed by Iran under the name Qadr, it's hailed as Iran's most advanced, liquid-fueled, medium-range missile. Developed in 2004, Tufan aimed to enhance the range and capabilities of missiles. It's based on the Shahab-3, which originally had a range of just 621 miles. The upgraded engine version offers increased thrust while consuming less fuel. Guidance systems were also improved, enhancing flight altitude, accuracy, and missile range. The result is the Cotter missile family. The first operational test was conducted in 2006, with production commencing in 2008. Trial results show that Tufan has a range of approximately 1,118 to 1,242 miles, with a maximum speed of around 621 miles per hour, capable of reaching Israel's southernmost city, Eilat. It can carry a warhead weighing between 1,543 and 2,205 pounds. The Tufan missile was showcased in a military parade in September 2023. For short-range, solid-fueled missiles, the Houthi rely on the Tanqil missile, which was also showcased in the 2023 military parade. The Tanqil is a missile produced in Iran, known there as the Rod 500 or Zohair. This new generation missile weighs half as much as the Fateh 100 at approximately 3,858 pounds, but boasts a longer range. The Tanqil has a range of about 310 miles. In terms of size, the Tanqil or Rod 500 is shorter, measuring only 25 feet. Its warhead is smaller, yet it retains a potent explosive power. The advantage of the Tanqil lies in its design, which allows it to separate upon launch, making it inherently more challenging to detect, track, and intercept compared to the Fateh 110. The Tanqil was first introduced on February 9, 2020 in Tehran attended by the commander of the IRGC. Meanwhile, the medium-range ballistic missile focused on is the Hatim, or Kebar Shikan. This is also an Iranian-made missile. Kebar Shikan translates to destroyer of the Kebar fortress, historically a Jewish fortress destroyed by Muslim forces in 629 AD. The Hatim's standout features include its solid fuel, similar to the Tanqil, but it is lighter than its counterparts. It weighs about 9,920 pounds and measures about 34.5 feet in length. Its slim design and speed reaching between 7 and Mach 10, combined with a range of about 900 miles and maneuvering capabilities, make the Hatim highly effective in striking high-value targets. Most importantly, the Hatim possesses a high-explosive warhead. Another advantage is its versatility in launch platforms. While typical Iranian missiles often emulate Western designs, the Hatim is entirely Iranian, from concept to final product. The cost for each unit in this program is around 300,000 USD. Given the Houthi lack of air force, they have opted for the 358 anti-aircraft system to support their air defense. This missile gained its reputation during the interception of illegal arms shipments to the Houthi by Iran. These missile shipments have been intercepted several times from 2019 to 2021. 
More of these missiles have been found by the U.S. and other military forces when seizing Iranian weapon shipments bound for Yemen. The missile that successfully entered Yemen and was codenamed Sakur by the Houthi is claimed to be indigenously developed. What are its capabilities? This is a unique anti-aircraft missile specifically designed for aerial targets, not ground ones. It can fly at an altitude of about 6.2 miles and has a maximum range of about 62 miles. The Sakur missile combines the capabilities of a kamikaze drone and a mobile surface-to-air missile, launchable from simple rails or from trucks. In addition to the Houthi forces, the Hezbollah army and pro-Iranian militias in Iraq also use the 358 missile and have deployed it to down Israeli drones in Lebanon. To fend off enemy attacks at sea, the Houthi used the Falak, or Khalij Fars, missile. As specifications, the Falak is a short-range supersonic anti-ship ballistic missile made in Iran. Launched in Iran in 2011, Falak has an operational range of up to 186 miles, carrying a warhead weighing about 1,433 pounds. Another advantage is the advanced electronic system used in Falak, allowing the missile to find and navigate targets with high precision. Its hallmark lies in its speed and supersonic trajectory. The Khalij Fars moves vertically after launch and crosses at supersonic speed. During tests, the missile was able to hit a moving ship with a precision of 98 feet, which was later improved to about 28 feet. The Falak missile itself began to be showcased in 2022 in a parade just before the ceasefire against Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. Also on the Houthis' armament list is the Quds-2 missile. This is a cruise missile also made in Iran, named Sumer. It's specified as a naval and ground battle cruise missile, costing less than ballistic missiles. Sumar is named after a village whose entire population was killed when the Saddam Hussein regime attacked with chemical weapons. There are three types operated by the Houthi, all similar in design. While definitely Iranian-made, the Quds missile likely bases its design on the Russian KH-55 missile, which was illegally sold to Iran by Ukraine in 2001. Due to this similarity, the speculated range of the Quds missile is between 1,250 to 1,850 miles. The missiles we've discussed represent just a fraction of what's available in the Houthi arsenal. Lacking an air force, the Houthi also utilize drones as a low-cost method for military and political intervention. The Houthi operate a drone called Samad, named after the Houthi leader Saleh al-Samad, who was killed by the United Arab Emirates in 2018. There are three variants of the Samad drone designed and produced by Houthi forces between 2018 and 2019, based on the Shahed drone. In terms of specifications and capabilities, detailed information is scarce. However, this drone can function in multiple roles, including as a reconnaissance and combat drone. It has a range of up to 1,120 miles and can fly at a maximum speed of around 124 to 155 miles per hour. The Houthi forces once confirmed the use of the Samad 3 drone to attack Abu Dhabi International Airport in 2018, although reports about this remain inconsistent. However, the Samad drone's drawbacks include its slow speed and poor accuracy. Therefore, the Houthi still rely on the Waid drone in their arsenal. Waid is the Iranian-made Shahed-136 drone, which has gained a significant reputation when used by Russia in the war in Ukraine. Its task is to attack ground targets from a distance, launched in large numbers from launch racks to overwhelm enemy air defenses. Its range is between 1,250 to 1,550 miles. The Waid drone is reported to have been used by the Houthi in the Yemeni civil war throughout 2020 and is rumored to have been used in attacks on Israel. In Ukraine, Iran is said to have supplied hundreds of drones to Russia, including the Shahed-136, illegally. With its remarkable capabilities in reconnaissance, monitoring and attacks, this drone has changed the dynamics of conflict in the Middle East. The Houthi forces also operate the loitering munition Kasef, According to the Houthi forces, this drone is indigenously produced. However, in all its specifications, it belongs to the family of Iranian single-engine, multi-role tactical unmanned aerial vehicles produced by Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industrial Company under the name Hessa Ababil. 
There are four variants, with the Ababil II being the most extensively developed. Specifically used by the Houthi forces is the Ababil T, which is a development of the Ababil II. The Kasef drone carries a warhead weighing about 66 pounds. The Houthi used this drone to attack Saudi oil infrastructure in 2019 successfully. The attack was successful partly because the drone's low-flying capability made it difficult to intercept with Saudi's ground-based missile systems, such as the MIM-104 Patriot, 